Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create class 150 slip on raised face flange rivet family. In this tutorial, I will create the whole family which is created in generic model face base and then load into and combine in the main family. This is manufacturer specifications. There are 15 mm to 600 mm nominal pipe size. And I will refer this data to create CSV file. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Select the void extrusion. Set 0 for extrusion end and set negative 25 for extrusion start. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for hole radius. Select instance and click OK. Assign extrusion start to hole depth parameter. Select instance and click OK. Finish the void extrusion. Go to 3D view. Cut the reference object with the void extrusion. You must do this process. If not, flange will not make hole in main family. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for J. Select instance and click OK. Here I will set the value of parameter base on 100 mm pipe as default. Set 20 mm for J value. Add formula for hole radius. Formula is J divided by 2. Add a new parameter for T. Select instance and click OK. Set 25 mm for T value. Add formula for hole depth. Formula is equal to negative T. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Select the void extrusion and array. Select the radial and last point. Place at the intersection point and array it. Select the array distance and set 360 degrees. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for K1. Select instance and click OK. Select the array and add parameter for number of hole. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for K. Select instance and click OK. Set 190 mm for K value. Add formula for K1 parameter. Formula is K divided by 2. Check and play the number of hole parameter. Parameter are working. Go to 3D view. Save the family. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Insert dimension image for reference. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 24 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for T. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 33.6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for G. Select instance and click OK. 
select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 115 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for O. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 79 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 68 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for M. Select instance and click OK. Let's start creation. Go to create. Select the revolve. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Back to create. Select the void sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C1. Select instance and click OK. Go to 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Set 116.1 mm for C value. Add formula for C1 parameter. Formula is C divided by 2. Go to Manage Lookup table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for Lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Select instance and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV name. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm for nominal diameter value as default. Add formula for O parameter. Add formula for C parameter. Add formula for T parameter. Add formula for a parameter.
add formula for G parameter. Add formula for M parameter. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Insert and load the created whole family into project. Go to 3D view. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag family and place to the flange face. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Back to 3D view. Assign J parameter to J. Select instance and click OK. Assign K parameter to K. Select instance and click OK. Associate T parameter to T. Select the void family. Assign the number of hole parameter to number of hole. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for J parameter. And click apply. Add formula for K parameter. And click apply. Add formula for number of hole parameter. Click apply. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. To add material. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Search for mild steel and replace the weld mild steel. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. To create pipe connector. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select pipe connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe fitting for family category and select flange for part type. OK, pipe flange family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.